Hi, my name is Chris Costa. I'm an associate attorney at the law firm of Manning Gordon Seller in Tampa, Florida. My specialty is business immigration and specifically investment visas. I've worked with foreign investors for the past four years approximately, previously in New York and now here in Tampa, Florida. So I'll first delve into the E2 visa and the L1A visa. The E2 visa is only available to nationals of countries with either a trade agreement with the United States, uh, allowing for this visa to be available to its citizens, or uh, a treaty of navigation and commerce with the United States uh, conferring this benefit upon its citizens. There, there are about 70 countries at the moment with uh, these existing treaties with the United States. It's political, as you can imagine. It's, uh, it's given as a concession for uh, oh, various things. So you would have to consult with the licensed immigration attorney to verify whether you're a national of a country that permits this designation. The, uh, the E-2 visa is a temporary visa uh, available in periods of stay of two years at a time here in the United States. Uh, foreign investors can invest in an existing business, owning at least 50% of issued and outstanding shares, and uh, having an agreement in place with the company where they would actively manage, I guess, the entire company or an essential function within the company, let's say sales, for example. This visa does not have a minimum investment. It, uh, it's available for newly created businesses here in the United States or businesses that receive investment from foreign nationals and, uh, and foreign nationals purchase at least 50% of their shares. The foreign nationals required to be either managing the business entity upon issuance of the visa or an essential function of the business entity, which might be sales, for example. The uh, primary consideration is that we would have to convince the U.S. government that the business is going to be profitable, successful, and show that it's employing at least one U.S. worker. In this, in this scenario, it's advantageous because there isn't a minimum investment and there isn't a minimum job creation requirement. Of course, the, uh, the larger the investment, the more jobs are created, the more profitable the business, the better. These, these are all factors that add to the strength of the application.